Well, here I am with my very good friend, Charles <laughs> Massey. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Thank you. Thank We're going to talk about something exciting, Our Town, one of the loveliest shows ever written. I, I couldn't agree with you. It, 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 it's, it is the most well-written, totally American, 100% human, beautiful, beautiful show. It's a love letter to America. It's a love letter to families. It's a love nice letter to way communities. way to put it, Charles. Don't really? you think? Yes, I do. Um, and I thought this being the 250th anniversary of Newport, what better way than to do a show written about New Hampshire New and Hampshire, life in New a Hampshire. a small town in can, New Hampshire. Can you name another play that was written that takes place in New Hampshire? Golden Pond. Can you name one more? Oh, Charles, this is a quiz. This is a quiz. <laughs> no. George Bernard Shaw wrote a play called The Devil's Disciple that takes place in New Hampshire during the Revolutionary War. I didn't know that. Absolutely. Well, did he ever come here? No. He just wrote about it he from just, what he read. Um, let's get back to our... Our New our, Hampshire. Yes. <laughs> and our uh, town. Now, you're directing this, and I do have to mention it's your last show. It's my final production <clears throat> no. um, for the Opera House. It was not my first choice when we were trying to choose a show, but for one reason or another, I ruled all the other shows out. And I had been in New York for a weekend of theater going, mm -hmm. and as I was driving back along the Connecticut River, seeing one beautiful village after another, I thought, the answer is right before me. Right it in front is of our you. town. And so I reread it and decided that was it. Um, well, uh, tell me about your cast. Well, it's an interesting cast because about half of them are new to us. I've never really? seen them before. Some of them showed up at auditions. Um, some called and were interested, and we had them come in and read. And it's a large cast. It is big. Um, and it's a wide variety, a wide variety of people from all over the area. So that's exciting too. Initially, I wanted to play the stage manager. Yeah, I wondered about about that. And the that. stage manager, of course, is the person who kind of guides the audience oh, well, to the he, story. Well, he, he blends it all together. He does, and he is the go-between <coughs> between the story and the audience. Yeah. Um, he talks to the audience, and then he's also in the play. So it's an interesting um, theatrical device there. But I realized it was too much. I couldn't do that and direct the show and pack for and my move. move. <laughs> and plan a new life in North Carolina. So I thought, what better way to introduce the community to the new artistic director than to have him play the stage what manager. What a good idea. Yes. So Todd Jelt, who is our new executive director and a wonderful actor, is going to play the stage manager. Oh, that's, so that's, that's ex really very nice. exciting. <laughs> I do know that nothing happens here that the whole town doesn't know about, and you have 24 black umbrellas. I have. <laughs> I heard that. Well, it's, I, it's hard to find black umbrellas these days. This is um, a poster for our town, and one of the reasons I love the poster is we took an old map of Newport, blew it up, and that is what the background is. So this is our town in more ways than one, and um, it announces the show that I describe as Thornton Wilder's quintessential American story. Well, we should tell people when it is and where it is. Yes, Our Town will be presented at the Newport Opera House on November 18th, 19th, and 20th, uh, Friday and Saturday, the 18th and 19th, right. that will start at 7 p.m., on the 20th, we're going to have a special brunch matinee. Nice. And that will start at 12.30 with brunch. Uh, it's catered by the Common Man Inn of Claremont. And then the show will start promptly at 2. And following the show, at 4.30, there's going to be a reception for the retiring executive director. <laughs> okay. um, and everyone is invited to that. So once the show is open, we'll open the doors, and anyone who wants to come in may join us for that reception in the Opera House at 4.30 on Sunday the 20th. It sounds wonderful, and I don't think any of you will want to miss it, especially the farewell to Charles.